Well, since the 1940s, a very popular night spot has offered visitors a tropical destination in the middle of North Portland. It is one of the oldest tiki bars in the U.S., and I stopped by to learn all about the story behind the alibi. Welcome to an urban oasis that seems far removed from the passing days, months, or even years. As you can look around, it's completely frozen in time. Marcus Archambeau owns the Alibi Tiki Lounge. This is one of the oldest continually operated uh, tiki bars in the country. I mean, if not the oldest, one of the, the top five. The first tiki bars opened in California back in the 1930s as a kitschy vision of what mainlanders imagined life was like in Hawaii and the Pacific Isles. Their popularity grew when sailors and soldiers returned from the South Pacific in World War II. Cut to 1947 when a man named Roy L. added some Polynesian flair to a section of his bar on North Interstate. This is where it all started. This is where it all started, yep. We had a little pinball machine here. Some of the uh, decorations that you see behind us are some of the original ones, and uh, he just went from here. This actually is his original bar that he brought from his basement. The family gave this to us, and we recreated this to be the back bar here, but this is Royal's original tiki bar that he brought from his basement to this bar. What was this? They're old phone lines that you get a private phone call, and, and the phone brought to your table and plugged in here. It's, wow. It's quite ridiculous, but I think it made you feel uh, important back in the day. And even when the popularity of tiki bars began to fade in the 1960s, the alibi kept its tropical vibe in place, serving Mai Tais, Singapore slings. I saw something on there called the zombie. The zombie, yep. The, uh, you can only have a handful of those before you turn into a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> really, the only major change here came in the 1980s, when a popular activity from Japan first landed in the U.S. Pre-COVID, we were the longest uh, operating karaoke bar in the city uh, since the 1980s, 365 days a year. Well, visitors will be singing happy birthday this Saturday when the Alibi celebrates its 75th with a luau-themed party open to all ages. It's a celebration of not just the original vision, but the people that have kept it alive through the decades. Why do we need the Alibi? It's, it's an iconic place. Um, it's just important to preserve this for Portland. So while the winds of change may blow outside these walls, inside, time will keep moving at its own deliberate pace. Comforting and familiar like a warm Pacific breeze. It's a perfect place to, uh, you know, escape from the outside, get away from everything, and just sort of have an experience that's unlike any other. Bonnie and I have both had some good times at the album. It's a fun spot. I mean, there's Love that really place. nothing like it. Uh, we've both taken friends there. Uh, and their anniversary celebration is going to take place, uh, again, this Saturday. It's from noon until 8. Yeah, and there's no admission. It's a kid-friendly event. So check it out. And I should mention, it's also going to be outdoors. So they're right. they're doing like an outdoor luau in their parking lot, essentially. And there's mm -hmm. going to be live music and all sorts of uh, fun stuff. I am sold. So yeah, I, fun. I've never been. Mm -hmm. um, it's like my favorite place. Oh, my gosh. OK, so in the middle of winter, when all of us want to be in Hawaii, but we can't, yeah, we'll all spot. go there and exactly. hang out. How about that? Just let me tell you something. You if there. you go and expecting to sing karaoke, you may have to get in line, because yeah. that is a popular thing there. Noted. It's true. And some great singers. Great, great stuff there, uh, Joe. Thank you for that. Uh,